Hello, welcome to day six for Color Month 2024. I'm going to be using the Just Calling dies and also the Just Calling stamp set from Concord and Ninth today to create an interactive card. This telephone die set actually has a rotating mechanism so that as you rotate the rotary numbers on the phone, you get little messages at the top. So here are my color combos for today. I'm using number 89 and number 90. I actually picked out 89 and then I saw 90 right behind it and thought, oh, I love both of these. Let's do two cards today. So here are the colors I'm using. These are all from Concord and Ninth. I thought they were pretty good color matches for the colors on these cards from the Sarah Renee Clark Color Cube Volume 1. So um, these are the colors I'm using, although I won't be using the inks for everything today. I will mostly be using the cardstock colors. So I basically have two different telephones that I'm putting together. I've cut all the pieces and I'm going to start assembling and then we'll get to the interactive part. So each telephone basically has um, potentially three different colors. So for the pink one, I did the two different tones of pink, which are sweet pea and dragon fruit. And then that green shade is juniper. And I did the, the main portion of the phone as to the two pinks and then the dial and the feet as juniper. Now this dial is actually the portion that uh, the user or the person reading the card will actually kind of catch that little notch with their finger and rotate around the rotary. So um, I took a cue from Laura Basson. She did a video for Concord and Ninth showcasing this die set and how it's put together. And she recommended kind of stacking multiples of this rotary die cut so that it's a little bit more substantial and uh, has a little more heft to it. So when you go to rotate it, it feels better. So I did the same. I did four layers of that rotary die cut. And then each of the telephones, um, the dies have you cut out these four circles and you're going to stack them one on top of the other. And that's what's going to give us the um, clearance or the dimension for everything to rotate. So you want to make sure that you you glue these together and set it aside and let it really, really dry. And also be conscious that you don't want any glue kind of squidging out the edges. So there's a white piece that goes right behind that rotary. And I just wanted to kind of put those together and see what they look like. This was my first glimpse of how these different colors work together to create the telephones. And I thought they were just so super cute, very retro looking. So now I'm going to stamp the numbers behind the rotary. So there's this kind of little, little shape here that could almost be a clock other than it only goes to, you know, one, like zero through nine. But I used some repositionable adhesive just to adhere that kind of white circular piece in my Misty. I positioned the number dial stamp picked it up with the door of my Misty, and then I stamped the numbers with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I actually had to do this twice since I'm doing two telephones today. So after I had one, I put the, the other paper in, repositioned that stamp, and then stamped the numbers once again. So there is a couple more things to do for as far as stamping goes. You can see up on this white piece, it's labeled spinner. And it has the little sections of what will show behind the little talk bubble. It has kind of a indent on it. So you can center your stamp in the middle of it. It's kind of brilliant how they've done this. They really have guided you through everything. So for this first set, this is the one for the pink phone. I did every other section with a different phrase. And this is basically going to be a happy birthday card. I'm going to use the same phrases on both cards, but I'm just going to be changing the colors of inks that I use for all the stamping. So I use Juniper ink for all of those words. And then for the little images in between, I'm going to alternate between dragon fruit and sweet pea. And I'm going to be using hearts and stars and a present and like a little uh, party popper type thing um, and uh, more hearts. And uh, I think there's just one set of stars, but this is, a you know, so as they rotate that rotary on the phone, you're going to see different phrases and also different images as it rotates. 
So there's one of the spinners and this is the second spinner and I did the exact same for this one except the words were stamped in mushroom and I used avocado for all of the images. So I'm going to set these little spinners aside while I start prepping more areas of my card. Now initially when I was doing this I thought you needed to kind of build the whole spinner on your card base because that's how Laura showed it in her video but actually I'm going to backtrack here and make a correction so um, at this point you don't want to be doing this on a folded card base you just want an A2 sized card front so ignore what I just did where I scored my cardstock and folded it but you do want to have that die cut piece and I'm going to repeat that section of the video just so you can see it so you basically just have that bottom metal bar hanging off the edge of your cardstock and that has it lined up perfectly so it will cut the circle and the little talk bubble so that you can start assembling your spinner right behind it. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So you're going to put some glue on top of that large circular spinner and then take the stacked circle die cuts and put that directly over top. And there's an indentation on the spinner that will guide you for where you need to place that. So I did that for both of my cards, just taking that stacked, uh, the stack of circle die cuts and glue it right in the center. And then I just let those dry. You want those to dry completely before moving on. I then took my stacked colored rotary uh, die cuts and I placed those right over top of my stamped numbers. And there are indentations on that white cardstock that help you get that uh, kind of colorful piece directly over the top. And I glued both of those on and in place at this point. So I'm just gonna line that up over the top and I like to pick it up and kind of move things around. Since I'm using liquid glue, there's a little bit of time to, to manipulate it and slide things around until the position is just right. So I set those aside to dry. Now I've got my uh, card fronts. Now just imagine that the back of the card is not there. <laughs> so that's what you're supposed to do. So you're going to glue the base of the telephone directly over top of that circular stack of die cuts. And it's going to puzzle piece in right over the top. Just try to make sure you don't have any adhesive right up next to that cutout circle. And then you're going to take some glue and put that directly on top of that stack of circle die cuts. And then you're going to put that rotary right on top. There's little notches on the telephone. You'll see four of them. That will help guide you for where you need to place the rotary. So put that on and then place something heavy on top to help that dry. You want it to be completely dry before you try rotating it. So I'm gonna do the same with my second card. I put that spinner behind. I'm putting some glue behind my telephone so I can put it directly on top, making sure to keep that area around that circle cut out completely clear. And then I place that directly over the top. I put some glue on top of those stacked die cuts and then adhered my colorful rotary over the top. So the spinner mechanisms are basically done at this point. The rest of this is just decoration. So I wanted to test it out. This is my first time kind of testing it and it rotated so well when the card was open. And I noticed that when the card was closed because you're kind of holding it, it was a little bit hard to rotate and that's when I went to the Concord and Ninth website and I realized that in their instructions they don't have you assemble it on a finished folded card they actually have you just you know put it on top of an A2 size piece of cardstock so I'm going to correct that error in just a minute here there is a center area for the rotary so I'm going to adhere the cardstock on top of both of those and then I adhered the handset kind of right above each telephone and then I also grabbed the little curled swirly phone cord and I adhered that onto that area as well and I didn't worry too much about the placement of where the handset went because I could always connect the phone and the handset together by moving that little spiral all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to cut off the back of my card base 
So at this point, this is actually what Concord and Ninth has you do. So I've corrected my mistake. And so now you take some foam adhesive and you put it around the spinner area, make sure none of it's touching the spinner. And then you're going to adhere everything onto your card front. So I'm using the, the kind of like that corner of my score buddy. And then I'm, uh, putting my card right down on top and that helps just to get everything lined up perfectly when you're adhering it. So now when I go to rotate the telephone, it flows so freely, nothing's in the way and it, it is really, really smooth. I did the same thing for my second card. I cut off the back, put foam adhesive on the back surrounding that spinner area and then adhered it to an A2 sized card front. So the cards are essentially done at this point. I'm just going to add a few other little elements. I wanted to add the just calling to say greeting from the stamp set. So I stamped and white heat embossed on both mushroom and juniper card stocks so that I could have them match each card. And then I put each one of these on some foam adhesive and adhered it right below the telephone. I thought that spacing was just perfect right there. So the centers of the telephones looked like they needed something. So I grabbed my mini hearts party die set from Simon Says Stamp and I just adhered a small white heart in the center of each of these telephones. I think it just finishes it off really well and uh, just makes it look a little bit more polished. So I also at this point took one of these cards and I'm like, went to my husband. I said, look how cool this is. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, oh, well, you don't know what to do. He's like, no. And I said, you've got to turn that. So I decided to add a little turn with an arrow. Probably could have just done just the arrow. I didn't need to write turn. But once I did that, then he knew what to do and it worked out really well. Also, this card is very, very thick in the middle. So it is, it's thicker than a quarter inch. So you can't send this through the mail for just like the regular amount of postage. So you'll have to pay extra postage or deliver this in person. So I decided, you know, adding a little bit of instruction on it, just in case I do send it through the mail would be advantageous. So here are the cards for today. Super simple, nothing too crazy. I just took the color inspiration from the color cubes and used that to pick out some cardstock colors and then cut everything with that die set from Concord and Ninth. Everything I've used today, including the die set and the cardstock colors and, and all that are listed down below in the video description. So I hope you'll check that out. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all on Monday for my weekly live stream at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Hope to see you there.